now at noon. Fire crews are making progress on the Thompson Fire in Butte County. Still, evacuation orders and warnings remain in place as more than 12,000 structures are threatened. Good afternoon, I'm Dominic Garcia. Thanks for joining us at noon on this first alert, another first alert action day. We have team coverage on the heat and the fire watch. Your reporter Kayla Muller on the front lines in Butte County and CBS 13's Ashley and Free right here in studio tracking this triple digit weather. Cable, let's start with you. Uh, day two for you up there. How is it today? Yeah, hey there. I'm back again. And if you take a look over my shoulder, you can see that big O up there. It really stands out uh, against the blackened ground from the aftermath of the fire coming through here. And this road is actually just off Thompson Flat Road, which is where the fire is thought to have started. Thousands are still under evacuation orders and warnings today as crews work to get the fire contained. So far, more than 3,500 acres have burned. And the last update was 7% containment. I want to give a definition of what containment means, though. It doesn't necessarily mean the fire is still spreading and out of control, but rather it's about creating a barrier surrounding the fire to contain it. So, for example, if a fire has a 10-mile perimeter and firefighters have created a 5-mile long barrier, then it would be at 50% contained. So you can see here one of those barrier dirt lines to, to give you a visual. And this one here, uh, it was cut by a bulldozer. So they call it a dozer line. And I just spoke with a firefighter and I learned all of this from him. You can see that blackened ground against uh, the line that they cut. And so far today, I haven't seen a whole lot of big flames burning, but there are certainly areas that are still burning. There is not as much smoke as yesterday, but we just got word there's another vegetation fire burning just outside of Oroville that crews are working on. And again, they're still working on containment here for the Thompson fire. But with another day of high heat, there is a chance for fire growth. And just to give some stats, eight firefighters have been injured in the Thompson fire. More than 1,400 people have been fighting the fire in numerous Numerous air tankers have flown in from all over the state of California to help. Governor Newsom declared a state of emergency for the area, allowing more resources to come through. And when I was heading back to Sacramento around 8 last night, I did see some engines that read Ventura County on the side heading up toward Oroville. And Ventura County is down south, so it seems like crews are still heading in to aid in the firefight. It is the 4th of July, so there's no time to rest for these fire crews working in dangerous conditions. We are going to be heading down to um, the lake and the marina to see if that's open, to see if people are recreating today, and to see how they're handling that with the smoke. So we'll have more for you uh, later on CBS News at 4. All right, we'll see you then. Kayla, thanks so much.